Chronicle 13 Commandments. It's the one I was going to do before, but I, couldn't, I defeated myself with a numbers riddle. It's dedicated to all of them. It goes, one, listen to those who you respect and appreciate. Know your own heart, never deviate. Whether raps or books, just listen to the words. Figure out the wisdom written into every verse. Two, understand skunk is a powerful herb. <laughs> it is. Taunts and tempts and warps your strength, it tortures sense. So it's like, oh, are these my thoughts or do they belong to my... Too much dream. No. See? <laughs> Too much green to turn your dreams into myths. But three, true love asks nothing of either person. It just exists timelessly between them. It satisfies soul, body, whole of your mind. It don't control or confine. It don't demand or define. It don't cripple or crush. It just shivers and rushes. It ripples, it gushes. It ain't bitter and it doesn't hold grudges. It colours your cheeks and it'll flood you with blushes. And you will know it when you feel it. But four, love that ain't true, love that's forced, will run you down before it's run its course. It eats up time and ability, inspires resentment, encourages panic and pain and not contentment, and lust really only seeks to satisfy itself, right? But that true stuff, it satisfies both. That's why whenever you're close, I know that I'm safe, but still I hold my own weight, because love means each control their own fate. Five, learn. Always learn till your time is through. Always, every single day, comprehend something new. It's up to you to achieve everything you want to. Yes, we know our stuff, but we will never tell ourselves we've learned enough. Six, in every single person, I believe there exists a possible perfection. But to understand this, we have to be engaged with our inner selves and brave and well-behaved and on a mission to escape from this maze, right? But seven, words spoken without consideration or truth are words spoken in darkness. They are spoken to doom, the speaker to gloom. If you ain't truthful with yourself, mate, your lies will consume you. Till you can't separate the lies from the real, can't discern how you feel. Yes, it's difficult to move without truth to propel you. Because if nobody can trust you, then nobody can help you. Eight. Extend the deepest love to those that care for you. And never, ever disrespect someone who's really there for you. True friends are those with your interests at heart. And whose interests stay in yours, whether you're close or apart, right? A true friendship, it will endure. It will remain. A true friend is willing to dismiss you till you've learned through your pain. Nine, take care of yourself and your brain. Steer clear of what fucks you up. And try and refrain from temptation and don't fall into darkness when you're lost in contemplation and don't let yourself accelerate your mental degradation and they say the good intentions pave the pathway to hell. I say what points to evil leads to evil. And evil will ransack the bones if you were born to do good and live well. If you have sworn to do good and live well, may only time will tell. Ten. Measure prosperity not by financial success or by any other vanity, not by power, your power or the power of your family, not by politics, sex or barbarity. Measure your prosperity by your proximity to true love, true friends, by your ability to live in personal and collective truth. If you join up all my points, you can connect my truth. Eleven, simply and appropriately put, point eleven is this, study hard and always be on your guard. Because when you seem to be in charge of your shit, you will get hated. Jealous ones will try and take away what you've created. Fuck them. Study hard all the same, stay committed, be prolific, cut down on the drinking so your thinking is specific. I keep my head in the books because I think the books can enhance the mind, but you know what, just look up at the stars the way they dance in the sky. Twelve. The greatest rewards are those that you can't see, touch, or smell, or taste, you might say. The greatest reward is the feeling that grows inside you when you act in the right way. Thirteen, telling yourself you don't know what the truth is, is plain cowardice. Because in the heart of your hearts, in the depth of your solitude, you know it, and you know that you need to fight hard until you can devour it. The truth, it lies waiting there, cold in your guts. It waits for you to gather up the courage enough to confront your mistakes. May we live to reciprocate. Strength is a commodity, it isn't commonplace. You don't need the consent of another to be strong, right? Only to be weak. You know how weakness seeks approval in company. Strangers in front of me, flashing sharp eyes kind of hungrily. Not you, different strangers. Two. <laughs> we must aim to eradicate. All the strains of weakness from our hearts and our bodies. God, if we could ever complete this, then we could live in truth and in love. And then our minds could...
prevail, and then on the skies we could sail.